Hey guys, it's Trivia81 here, and I'm going to show you how to make your first game in Game Maker. Now, a lot of you probably already know how to do this, but I know some of you don't, and it's really bugging you. So, first off, we want to click on this Pac-Man icon at the top, so that says Create a Sprite. Now, today we're going to make a game of soccer. Very simple, really. Now... Let's just change this to player one. Now we're gonna load a sprite. We'll go to various because you know it's various stuff and whatnot. And we're gonna choose the bear. He's our soccer player. And if you want, you can go into here and change what he looks like. I think I'm gonna give him a big one right here. Okay, so I'll do that. And it's just like using paint. Really, really easy stuff here. Okay. Now, you can't really see the one on him, but... Yeah, that doesn't really matter now, does it? Okay, so now we can make another one. And this will be player two. And I'll load the same sprite. Or I can load maybe one of these. Now I'll just do another bear. And I'm going to change his color. And just go to this thing right here. And it's like using the little paint can thing. And I'll make him red. Okay. Oh. See, just like paint. Undo and everything. Okay. See, just as easy as that, and I, uh, he's transformed now. Let's just get on all the little details here. Yeah. Once you get used to Game Maker, it isn't very hard to use, but there isn't a lot of stuff you can make unless you're really intelligent with it, which I'm not really, but I know a few basic stuff, so I thought I'd share it with you. And I don't think I'll put a number two on him. There. Now we have two sprites here. Just so you know, these do not do very much at all. They are pictures, basically, right now. And then later on, we can make them things that you can use in a game. Okay, now, time to create one of our last sprites. And this will be the ball. Just load that soccer ball right there because this is soccer. Easy as that. And now this is a very important thing. We're going to need a wall. You need this in pretty much every single game that you make. And I think it might be this one, but I'm not entirely sure. And then walls, I always have a fun time rearranging the colors on these ones. And I'm going to make this one green. So, yeah. Okay. Once again, easily transformed right there. Now, one last thing that we're probably going to want is a goal line. And this one might be a bit hard even for me to do because I might actually have to make something for this. But I don't really want to get too carried away, so I'm just going to use another wall. But I'll make it red or white. Okay, there it is. So, yeah, and then 
just get your sprites normally. Just go and find it in your files. Like I said before, this is a really easy program to use, and you'll quite enjoy it once you get the hang of it. Okay, so now we have all our sprites, and just get rid of this mistake one. And now we're ready to go on to the next part.